Mental health and well-being are as important as traditional health and safety. More working days are lost each year due to poor mental health than to physical injuries or illness. There are a lot of terms used to talk about mental health and well-being. How familiar are you with them? Mental health is something we all have. It's a measure of our overall sense of mental well-being. Sometimes our mental health is good. Sometimes it's not. It's not always big things that cause poor mental health. In fact, it's quite often a build-up of much smaller things. The important thing to remember is that people react differently to different things. You can think of mental health like a scale. Things happen throughout the day that cause us to move up and down this scale. When we are near the bottom, it's usually not too long before we recover and move back up. But sometimes we don't move back up, and this is when serious problems can occur. If you notice someone is experiencing poor mental health, one of the simplest but most effective things you can do is talk to them about it. Let them know you care. If you're the one experiencing poor mental health, talk to someone else about it. Don't keep it to yourself. One of the biggest causes of poor mental health is excessive stress. We all have daily pressures at home and at work. People often think of stress as only a bad thing, but in fact, in small doses, it can be good for us. Stress causes the body to release hormones which can help us concentrate and give us a burst of energy. Persistent high levels of stress, however, can lead to serious problems and even cause fundamental changes in your brain. More than half a million people are currently suffering from work-related stress, depression or anxiety. Resilience is our ability to recover quickly from stress. It doesn't mean being able to cope or power through. Think of it like building muscle mass. The more we experience stress and then successfully recover from it, the more we can build our resilience. The key is how to effectively recover. We can aid our recovery in different ways, like getting enough sleep, eating healthily, and practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness is about bringing your attention to the present moment, to your body and your surroundings. A simple way to do this is to find a quiet place and focus on your breathing, allowing you to observe thoughts as they enter your mind and pass without dwelling on them. Mental health isn't just something for individuals to think about. Organisations should be prioritising it too. Poor mental health costs UK employers up to £42 billion a year. One of the most common reasons given for excessive stress is too much pressure at work. If you're interested in any of these topics and would like to find out more, the British Safety Council offers a range of mental health and wellbeing resources visit www.britsafe.org to find out how we can help you and your organisation.